In this demonstration, we're going to go over how to download, print, and save to your Google Drive different file types that have been posted in Google Classroom. We'll look at PDFs, uh, file types like images or Microsoft Word, and also files that are native to the G Suite, like Google Docs and Google Slides. So you can feel free to go ahead and skip to the relevant section. You can find the links to the relevant sections in the description below, or just watch this whole brief video. So the first type of file that we'll look at is a PDF file, and this PDF is going to open directly in Read and Write for Google Chrome because that's the settings that I've chosen. So I can go ahead and just click on this file. And you'll see that it's opening in read and write. So now when I go down to the bottom left of my screen, there are a few buttons that are helpful to me if I'm trying to print, save to my drive or to download the file. So the first that we'll look at is this print button right here. So when I click on print, I have a few options. And the options I see are in the destination dropdown. So you'll see that I can actually save directly to Google Drive. So when I have this chosen and I click on save, it's automatically saving it to my drive. And when I go into my drive, I'll be able to find that file. The second thing I can do through the print menu is if I have a printer that's installed and I would go to see more perhaps. So here are the printers I may have chosen before. So I can just choose my printer and then I can print this file. The other thing I can do with this PDF is I can download it to my computer. You'll see right next to the print button, there's an arrow. When I hover over it, it says download. So when I click on download, it actually downloads this file to my computer. Okay, so I could find it in my downloads folder, most likely, uh, and I can also open it uh, straight from this menu down at the bottom. And there it is, my downloaded PDF. The second thing we'll look at is how to download, print, and save to drive file types like images, so JPEGs or PNGs. It could be something from the Microsoft Office suite that's been posted, or if you are opening a PDF not using read and write automatically, you can follow these instructions. So I'm going to click on this image and other file types. And this is a JPEG, and I'm just going to click on this file. And instead of in the bottom left corner, this time I'm going to go to my top right corner. And you do see a print button here, but we're gonna click on these three vertical dots where there are more actions instead. And we're gonna select open in new window. And this is just gonna give me my full range of options right away. So you'll see now that this is open in a new window, I have a few different things I can do. So I can, add a shortcut to my drive. The next thing I can do is I can print. So if I click on print, I can save a copy directly to my Google Drive, or I can choose a printer that I can print the document to. And again, I can go under see more to see if I have any other printers. Uh, perhaps there's a different one at home that I've installed. And then finally, from here, I'm also able to download the file. So when I download this file, again, it's going to appear likely in my downloads folder on my computer. The third file type that we'll look at are file types that are native to the G Suite. So for example, Google Docs, Google Slides. So to do that, uh, let's look at this file that's posted here, and this is a Google Doc that's posted. So I'm going to click on this Google Doc.
So now that this is loaded, I can go to my file menu and I can do a few things from here. So I can make a copy of this. So that would create my own personal copy of this in my drive. So when I make a copy, I can title this Tamara's copy of vocabulary list. And I can choose if I want it to be in a specific folder. So I could do that here. I'm just gonna click okay. And you'll see when you make a copy of something uh, in your drive, it's going to open up in a new window. The other thing I can do if I don't want to make a personal copy of this is I can go file and I can download this. So perhaps I want to download this as a PDF. Um, this is a Google Doc, so I can open it as a Microsoft, uh, download it as a Microsoft Word document um, or open document format. So if you're using something like OpenOffice, um, if it were a Google Slides file, you would be able to choose a Microsoft PowerPoint and things like that. So if I want to choose PDF document, I would just click on that. And you'll see automatically that it has downloaded for me as a PDF, this vocabulary list. So I'd be able to go to my downloads folder and there it is. So you do have a few different options for downloading and printing and saving to drive. And depending on the file type that you're using, you're going to want to follow the appropriate set of instructions, uh, but it is quite easy and uh, you can choose to do what works for you.